Let's make it short. My cat ruined my artwork I did for Mermaid. Do you know these moments when you're leaving your art to dry and hope your pets will not destroy it? Well, that happened to me when I was in the shower and just at the moment I thought, oh, what if my cat walks through the wet paint? The worst I could think of was how he left some black paw marks on my paper, which would have not even that bad. But who would even thought that he would use it as a place to sleep on? Well, well, I was not even mad. It's honestly funny how he wanted so much to sleep on my sketchbook that he didn't mind that it was all wet and his white belly turned all grey. Or maybe he thought that my version of that day's promptless theme darkness was just not dark enough who knows however he nailed it my cat is the true artist i admit it at first i wanted to start over but then i thought why not give it a shot and try to fix it like i often do <laughs> as you know and as a disclaimer my watercolor skills are not worth mentioning I am still in the learning process, practicing to handle this medium and just trying to understand how to work with it since I'm, yeah, well, I'm only used to work with markers. So I have never had this thought of what could happen if my cat sleeps on my art. Until this moment I only thought the worst that could happen is that my art could get crumpled or something. But now I know that cats are not afraid of wet paper because it's still paper to sleep on. <laughs> so I decided to go for Meow Mates instead of Common Pretty Mermaids because I just don't felt creative enough while doing the challenge with normal mermaids. As you know I started with Common Mermaids and I guess it's good for me to break out of my comfort zone which definitely is drawing pretty women. So I started to use watercolors and draw or paint Meow Mates instead. I guess that I won't upload any of my mermaids as a speed paint on my channel. Maybe you have already noticed this. I personally got some issues with 30 day drawing challenges, especially if I need to take videos of it. So I will just keep uploading them on my Instagram and Facebook page. So in case you want to see more of my mermaids, uh, just follow me there. What's also new is that if you become my patron now, you can be part of my special Discord channel, Rambutan's Fruit Basket, which is a special reward. If you want to support my art, because the YouTube algorithm is my kryptonite at the moment, you can check out my Patreon page or support me by hitting that bell icon under this video, because the YouTube algorithm is not your friend either. So in this way, you will always get notified if a new video is up or if I'm going to stream again. Question of the day. Which artists are you most influenced by? Share your thoughts in the comments, I'm pretty interested in what you have to say. If you have any questions for me, just feel free to ask in the comments below. I will collect some of your questions and I will answer them in the next video maybe. Let's see. However, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and like always, stay creative. Bye bye!